right. Thanks everyone for uh, joining me here at the meeting. Let me go ahead and get the agenda on the screen real quick. <clears throat> Um, we did start to dive in a little bit early. Joel's going to take on, uh, the, on, on taking some notes. Um, I, I do want to uh, kind of jump in a bit on... Um, so our conversation has been pretty focused, especially the last couple of meetings, about, you know, Discord versus discourse versus, um, you know, social media and how to communicate, you know, within among ourselves as well as with the community at large. Um, but I, with each conversation, there's a little bit more clarity, but I feel like on some levels, we're still kind of um, not clear on a few issues and a, a few things I think we need um, just to address. I think overall too, uh, communication is really important for um, how, you know, we talk to each other and the information that we're putting out um, and what voice we're reaching out with. Um, and, and it's also a good thing because I think all of us have kind of overlayered each other a little bit too on different things. And I think that's a healthy relationship to keep going forward with, because we have all these circles that we have some specific responsibility in, but we're seeing overlap. And I think that's really good because it's out supporting each other and, um, and, and uh, yeah, just supporting each other is really a, a good way of saying it because you're supporting with information and you're supporting with, uh, you know, just stuff getting done. Does that make sense? All right, cool. Uh, let's see. So there's links to the previous meetings here. Uh, if you guys wanted to look at that as well. Um, but um, since you were gone, just quick updates. Uh, Ruth has joined the board and we'll be working on the G Suite stuff. Uh, she might reach out to Joel, myself, Matt, Wink for information. Um, I'd like to see her supported and then uh, she might eventually roll into the clerk position one day. Um, and Matt might move up to a different position as well. So there's kind of a shift happening, uh, which is good, you know, for the overall uh, health of the organization. Uh, also, JP was elected to the board as our new treasurer. Um, the 501c3 page is, is coming together. Uh, it's taking me longer than I expected. I did want to talk to Joel about that. And we talked this morning before the meeting and we're just going to work on an HTML thing. So I'll, we'll go ahead and uh, cross the, that out here and I'll just move that on. Okay, oops. One uh, question just go ahead. in the footer. I, I just, it's a question. How many people know what 501c3 is? I mean, but mm -hmm. outside outside of this like oh. insider group, because if the goal was to let people know that's where they could see who the board was and other things, I I don't I don't I don't honestly don't know how many people would know what that was. It's um, I wonder if we just rename the link to about because that's that's okay. a common thing where people are like yeah. looking for. Oh, that seems like a good idea. Yeah, I would see. And then a lot more things can fall into that too. Okay. Can you make a note of that, Joel, and then add yeah. that to your action item? <coughs> um, and then uh, we're working, um, uh, we were talking, I don't, when I say we, I'm not sure who all was involved in the conversation. Um, I think Matt was too, but uh, working on a possible retreat. Uh, for the board um, and I put that notice out just to save the date to see who could go and who couldn't. And if you can't go, how can we create an avenue for you to get there for whatever purpose it is? And we're not, we don't need to talk about that today specifically, but I just wanted to put that out there. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna move ahead and uh, 
I'm going to try and stay out of the way, but I, cause I think this is a conversation uh, like we have a lot to talk about on the different things. I, I wish Matt was here cause he seemed to have a lot of feelings about this as well. Um, but uh, there seems to be some kind of on, ongoing confusion about uh, certain words in the scope of our communication and how they're gonna be applied uh, to what we're doing. And, and feel free to interrupt me, hands or whatever, if we need to talk more about anything specific. Um, the discord versus discourse uh, versus the use of the word blog. Um, is the, in the last two meetings, I'm, I'm kind of getting the feeling like we're all in uh, looking at the same subject, but not on the same page. Exactly. I, uh, that wouldn't be my feeling. Okay. Well, let me, let me uh, expand then a little bit. Okay. And so when we talk about um, discourse, Discourse is the is the is the little forum kind of thing that's going on on the website, right? Yeah. You know, when I still talk about it, I, I'm still getting a little bit confused on that. And well, let's um, let me suggest a way to simplify things a little bit. Can I number can one? I finish, can I finish? Oh my, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Dive into that. So, Sorry. Didn't mean um, to and then just the use of the word forum, I'm having trouble with as well because. It's taking me back to thoughts of, you know, the old BBS stuff, the old, you know, stuff from, you know, AOL days, <laughs> you know, um, but I like the tool there. I like what it can offer the community. Um, but it's also been said that we want to use that as the blog for releasing information to the community. And I, I have a problem with that as well. Um, because I don't think that's the right channel for that. Is there, can I just open the floor on that conversation on just on discourse right now? Yeah. Um, so, uh, uh, I don't think it's, um, the channel for the release of information to the community. Um, I think it's one channel along with queer burners, Instagram, Twitter, those are channels like, so those are all like, where, wherever we can find you, dude, dude, hey, there's a thing, there's a thing, there's a thing, we're telling everybody what that information is. Um, this particular channel has the benefit of being hosted by us on our website with our name and our logo. And therefore, when we release information to the community, this can be the canonical location, uh, if we want it to, for that information. And it allows people to add comments and it pulls people into the community where they can sort of have conversations if they do land there. So my, 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 my thought is um, we want to say something to the community. We write the full version of it on discourse. We link to it from Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, et cetera, where conversations will also happen. But this is sort of our version. And the, I would say sort of the literally the equivalent on the Burning Man world uh, from, the, from the Borg is that you see they put things on um, their journal, the Burning Man journal. They link to them from Jackrabbit Speaks, which is theirs, from Twitter, from Instagram, and from a bunch of other platforms that I discovered that they're posting things to that I don't subscribe to. So, but, but ultimately like the final place is what they call the, you know, the, the Burning Man journal usually. I I agree with that, but I think Burning Man's journal is more of a blog and not a forum. Like candidly, like if I look if I look for a website, I'm not I'm not going to think to find blog information on in a, in a section called forum. Um, right. And I, I think it might warrant actually having a separate blog section on the website, and you could still link in the forum, be like, here, check out our blog. But I think to 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 conflate the two content wise might actually like confuse people who are looking for one or the other. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't, um, you're not wrong, except that in reality, uh, I don't think we have that many people who are looking at anything. And so, and maybe it's just now, but it, I mean, um, agreed. Somebody, 
which, one of the 14 people a week that comes to queerbirds.com, which would be have to divide out the zero people that are looking for the blog from sure. the zero people that are looking for a four. I mean, I mean, to that, to that end, I'd almost say that then like the blog makes more sense because if we don't even have that much people coming to talk, how much engagement are we expecting on a forum at this point? Right. Well, yeah. And I would, I would agree there with Nexus that given the history of the group on Facebook available to 2 billion plus people, with over 3,000 people, I think, that are in that group, there's virtually no communication there. Mm -hmm. Occasionally, somebody posts something cute and people will comment on it. But it, I guess partly at this point in the organization's you know, being, like it almost seems like a topic that could be deferred you know, into the future, the, the forum aspect of it. Like, for communicate for dialogue between the organization and members of the organization, because I just don't see there being that much interaction. So I feel that discourse as a sidecar to the website, which if you're unaware, just looks as like another page. And if you choose to, you can comment on it, but it's available to anyone. That seems to meet our need today. And I, we're never gonna future-proof everything, but it just seems like our the way it exists is a good way. And there can be a questions section that if someone just wants to pose a question to the group that's not related to another topic, they could like go in there. But they also have the email address of info at, you know, to, but if they wanted the question to, if they wanted to be able to see that their question was like, not just disappearing, but that it was on the, you know, that it was visible to other people, then that would, I think. So I feel like discourse is a solution for us today. You know, may not be a solution forever, but it seems like it does, you know, short of coding it ourselves, you know, to create this thing, you know, well, I I don't I don't get the impression that discourse anybody thinks is a bad idea. Okay. I think I think um, and, and please correct me if I'm wrong if I'm misspeaking or if there's feelings about that. But um, using it as uh, I mean, like I like what Joel said is like you know when when there's a conversation about something about you know um, uh, the gayborhood for 2021 or whatever you know that's a great uh, link that we added to the Twitter and 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 Instagram or whatever to get people back into communicating on there we don't know what the future if that doesn't take legs then it doesn't take legs and we move on but I think in and using Bernie man as an example uh, like was done in the conversation here I think that the blog, going back to the blog is important. Like for today on the blog, I put a couple of blog entries in just to kind of give an example, if you guys want to bring that up. And there's a link at the bottom of the agenda. But focus going back to discourse, um, I think, I mean, am I wrong that we're all in agreement that this is a good tool, but I think we need to I think there's just been some miscommunication about what its actual use should be. Well, uh, let me um what the, the reason I'm excited about discourse or I think we should continue to lean into that in any way possible is that is exactly that there is no discussion really in the queer burners group or Quiverman's groups on Facebook. They're there, there's not that much going on. And when there is, it doesn't get to that many of those 3000 people because Facebook, my guess is they just deem it in It's not controversial enough and it's not, it's not people being angry and um, there's no fights. I, if, you, if you had a food fight on Queer Burners, Facebook would show it to 3000 people and they'd all pile in. Uh, so, um, but essentially don't think about it as hey, we've got a list of things that we, the Queer Burners organization need to accomplish. We need to communicate this thing and we need to 
but get feedback on that thing and provide a place to answer questions and provide a place to announce things that will be archived. Like that's, those are our goals, but those are bureaucratic goals to keep our bureaucracy working. There's also our mission as queer burners, which is to create an online community or a global community of queer burners. And if we said, all right, let's stop trying to organize everything. And now let's start getting towards our actual goals of organizing a community for queer burners that are beyond the administrative stuff, there's in-person and on the internet. Those are the two places we can try to create that community. And when we try to create that community in person, we've got events and we've got the playa and we might have uh, more events and we might have more regionals. But um, when we talk about um, creating that on the internet, we have a choice of, should we all dive into Facebook to try to get people contributing and talking and meeting each other on there? Should we, or should we own that platform? And I, 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 I'm kind of excited about like, if, if our goal is let's make a place where people that want to be engaged as queer burners can actually talk and chat and meet. Um, I think discourse, even though it's very old school, um, has the advantage at least of, uh, you know, it, it, we control it, it's our umbrella. Um, and we're sort of not at the whims of Facebook. On the other side, on the other hand, nobody may be willing to go along with that project because they might say, I'm not willing to go to one more place and, and type words. Uh, I'm the only place I type words is Twitter. <laughs> the only place I post pictures is Instagram. And the only place that I get into food fights is Facebook. I don't want to go to a website. So honestly, it sounds like we're all on the same page then. If I could add, add one more thing to that. I, it's interesting looking at the queer burners like Facebook group membership and seeing like the 170 friends I have in it. Mm -hmm. um, and to your point, Joel, seeing how it's not relatively active, but I see them very active in like the DC Burners group, the Burning Man for like no virgins or like no, not no virgins, no trolling, no snark group, right? So yeah. what is it about the queer burners group also, I think, and, and maybe this is a both and, right? Maybe we need a solution because like one of my partners is also like making his way off, off Facebook. So like really excited to have an alternative, but also what is it about the Queer Partners Facebook group itself that isn't engaging people that are active in other groups, right? right. I think we need to like interrogate that question too. It may, I mean, that's a, that's a really good question. My, I, my, my petty theory on that is that actually what we used to call Queer Burners Leadership Network um, is actually a group that has um, something to talk about right now, like kind of somewhere and that we should be focused on first and not sort of the, um, let's call them rank and file queer burners. Because a, a rank and file queer burners may be interested in, you know, like, hey, I'm in Glamcox. I've got my Glamcox thing. I talk to them about Glamcox things. I talk to burners about Burning Man things. I don't need to sort of combine those two. Um, until you're a theme camp organizer or you're working on the events or you're um, in some way actually kind of more of a professional burner plus uh, uh, in, in the queer burners community. And then you actually may have some reason. I, the reason I think about that is I kind of think that there is the stuff that we have had to talk about together that's important are the queer burners, uh, sorry, the queer, the queer burhood the, or the gayberhood or whatever. Um, I, I think there have been offline meetings um, apparently between um, camp leads talking about whether or not their camps are gonna appear this year um, but that, what that, you know, there, there was sort of no on online component to that. That was just a bunch <coughs> of people phoned each other up, I guess. Um, so I, I have a suspicion that, that a lot of the rank and file people who belong to, uh, queer camps and who are burners, um, may only be interested in Burning Man this much out of this much and interested in queer things this much out of this much. And in the intersection of those two is pretty small, uh, until you get to, uh, the, the people that are doing it full time and the TCOs and stuff like that. Well, I mean, if until there's people have something to focus on, you know, if we if we knew that Burning Man was happening this year, yeah, there would be more activity. Yeah, you don't know that it's happening. But, <laughs> say, no. but now, but we're starting to see where things are popping up. You know, we got every win on the horizon. You know, we've got our own stuff that we're working on you know, for the events team uh, that we haven't talked about generally yet. So um, when people have this to focus on, then they'll, I think they'll be there. Um, so I think I'm agreeing with you. 
uh, you know, and the Queer Burners Facebook group just has never been on its own specifically very engaged. It's been more, it's more about the regionals, you know what I mean? Where people are at, where people are getting together until we start getting ready for Black Rock City. That's just been the nature of the beast so far. Is that, I, I've always tried to, to, to steer people towards the regional pages. Uh, and using Queer Burner's Facebook group uh, as the channel for just a lot of information to be delivered almost one way or people sharing their things, even regional events, I try and get them to go to their regional area to do that, you know? Well, I wonder if there's an opportunity too in this kind of like quarantine year two for people who've been doing virtual events and some people have been you know, promoting them already, including um, Andrew with Celestial Bodies, right? Like, this might actually be the perfect opportunity, whether it's whether it's on the Facebook group or in the forum, to really encourage people to engage across regions in ways that they might not normally. But that's a whole other conversation. <laughs> no, but that's 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 great. I mean, that's we just it's cre I, I found that. Um, if you create the foundation for somebody to do something and participate that works for them, they will jump on board really fast and easily, you know? Um, you know, I think that's the one thing with all of us, the biggest win for me on that was I started seeing people that have never really met each other from different camps suddenly, you know, engaging each other and doing ideas with each other. And, and for me, that was the biggest win out of that, you know? So definitely, if we can create a channel for that, and if you do think of something, let's see what we could do about, you know, implementing it out there. Um, so on, on, back to the discourse, just uh, real quick. Right now it's listed as forum up at the top of the page, right? Yeah, I can, although that's easy to. So the, the, the name forum, uh, I'm, I, I brought this up at the last meeting, but I want to bring it up again for discussion. Is I, f I feel that's kind of a dated term, and I want somebody to give me their feelings on this. Um, just because Discord has become, wait a minute, discourse or Discord? Dis discourse. Oh, <laughs> that should never. That's the only word that should never appear anywhere. Yeah. Well, why not? Just because that's the software that powers it, nobody needs to know that. It's not like it's not it's not like you have a discourse account, or mm -hmm. anybody in the world has ever heard of discourse and, and knows it. That's just that's like calling it PHPBB. I or, keep collapsing those two words together, and it's fucking me up. I'm, yeah, so forget discourse. Never say that again. Just don't say that. Anymore. I'm not. What can what's what's the word I should use? It's just our it's our forum. I don't know. I know forum is an old fashioned word. It's our. Well, I think yeah that. That was the discussion in the board meeting about, you know, I think forum wasn't favored. Yeah. Uh, participate wasn't necessarily favored. Um, blog was uh, potential, but I think that, I, I think we- No, blog's not have a blog, which is a different thing. So. Right, right. So uh, but, I think we, once we settle on the word, then that's what we'll call it, but- Okay, forum's fine for now, but because I keep, uh, did you want to say something, Nexus? Yeah, I mean, I was just kind of, it was tongue in cheek, but what if we called it the queer room? <laughs> room? Queer forum? Oh, queer room. Yeah, <laughs> I, I fully support like those sort of branding things, but yeah. I, I, until people know what it is, they won't mm -hmm. click the button, <laughs> you know? So, um, it, uh, and if it was where, Announcement. I think announcements in the board meeting was the term I, that I think that was the most favored. And we meeting. talked about that, but I, I'd really like to hold off on that until we get a little bit deeper in this conversation. Well, let me ask a quick question. Do we even need this right? Okay. If, if nobody's going there by accident right now, I, I don't even think very many people will go there by accident once prep for Burning Man starts to um, ramp up because uh, it's sort of too hard to find. They have to find queer burners and they have to be like, what's here and click on every link. And then they see 
you know, a little site that doesn't have a lot of people talking amongst each other. And even if somebody posted something there right now, today, as is, um, only I would reply to them because I'm the only one who monitors well, it. I mean, right now we're just, we're creating the framework. Yeah. So new. here's the question. The first thing to decide is not what to call it, but whether we want to send people there. And by send people there, I mean, do we want to go into every one of our platforms and say, hey, we've opened up a new place for queer burners to talk to each other, go there. And we have to say that, you know, in every, in every channel that we have, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, et cetera, saying, hey, Facebook is great, but we have our own place that we control. Go there, introduce yourself. You'll see it's better than Facebook. Well, it's there and it's available for people for now. We haven't announced that it's there. Right. So if we're going to, we have to no worry about what we call it. Right? And if we're not going to, we don't care what we call okay. it. That's just, that's just I'd, I'd like to be more open with hearing and, and I think we're fine with the name at this point. I think we're fine that it exists um, and it's a good tool to remain on the website. It's not the blog. It's uh, just a communication tool and a tool to discuss community stuff and maybe topics that the board is putting out there that people want to talk about it more. Would that right. be a fair thing to say? Yeah. So let's, yeah. we can, let me just say, well, the blog will remain Okay. No, that's not go there because we're not talking about the blog yet. Well, no, I just we we, but I think we did decide that, or we didn't decide that. I need I need to have a conversation about that. <laughs> it's a separate one. Okay. Okay. It sounds like what we're, we're focusing on discourse right now. Uh, it sounds like what we're deciding for discourse is we should keep it, but not tell anybody to go there. I don't think anybody said that. Oh, okay, got it. I, it's there. We need to create a press release that it's there. It's not the main, we, I don't, I would be cons concerned about <clears throat> putting it out there as a focal point for the website specifically. We have the directory, which we are excited about. We have the, the forum, which we're excited about. Um, we may not be ready to put it out there in a press release on its own yet, but I don't think we should keep people from registering and participating. They're not the, we're, we don't have to keep people except that it's an attractive nuisance right now. Meaning anybody that finds it, which has so far been nobody, is going to register because it's gonna look like a thing and then nobody will respond to them and they'll say, oh, I wasted, that was a waste of time <laughs> because this is not, we have to get a critical mass in there if we want it to work. It, and the critical mass can be nine people that visit sure. once a week. Well, um, but there has to be a little bit of a setting it yeah. up and all we're doing is talking about it right now. So yeah. we're worried about that at the present moment. We can do a press release when we're ready uh, about okay. the website and go into all the, the perks that are with it. I, I would suggest to, to help focus the discussion. There's two things that we're looking to do. We, we need a place online to post announcements. Okay, so that, that could happen on the home page. Here. Can I, can I please? So um, the blog is another subject in this conversation where I think it is an ideal place for us to put public facing announcements. Uh, we had a little bit of a hiccup this week with a, with a, a security, security certificate or something like that. Yeah. Boom. That should not happen again, but it, okay. it, it also did not, um, I don't think it broke the blog, but anyway, that it just bro broke the HTTPS version. Right on. So but. we've got a channel for making sure that's, yeah. that's good and it's solid and we keep it updated. Right now I'm getting an error about PHP being out, outdated, but. Um, oh, I don't see uh, that. So um, I'm just gonna bring this up here real quick. So I added a couple of little things today to kind of add to, to the point that we wanted to talk about announcements and talk about uh, public facing stuff. And I, I'm open to feedback, but like I put the calendar on here, for example, today, um, it's, you know, uh, just a way. And then uh, the March 2021 board meeting. So I created a folder in the, um, uh, info at queer burners top level that I would like to make public for public facing documents. 
um, where we can link a uneditable agenda for people to look at. Um, and I think this is a great way you know, of putting announcements out there that can easily be linked in Twitter posts, forum chats, um, all, all other, all kinds of channels out there. So it's going back to Wink's uh, uh, mentioned earlier about a place for making announcements. I, I think this might be a good channel. What are your thoughts? I would say we need to pair back and not like we're channel heavy now for a group of a few people trying like as the communications lead it like my mind just explodes because I was like I know I can't handle this you know all these channels like they just it's too much so having a blog and then like well why would we have discourse because in reality today, there's so little back and forth and I don't see that being an immediate concern. So I think what is an immediate concern is a place online where announcements can go. And that could be the homepage. It doesn't need to be a blog. It doesn't, you know, it should be simple and it should be, um, if it's gonna be useful, people, it, it just needs to be like immediately clear what it is and how, to read it. So that's well, my concern. I think what I'm starting to see is, uh, I think we have different visions of the future uh, and the present. Uh, the, the past, you know, there was a time when, you know, Queer Burners was much more, you know, engaged with people. And it was usually just around that six months before Black Rock City uh, opened and closed, right? And it has a very specific time when things are active and engaged. And then it's quiet for the rest of the year. And right now we're quiet. We have COVID, we have you know, no Burning Man, um, and we don't have those channels being actively used by people because they don't know what the future are. Now, Queer Burners today is not the same Queer Burners it was a year, two years, 10 years ago. Um, and if we're mindful about the channels that we create, we can, um, you know, do something very positive here. The discourse is, or the forum, is a place for people just to communicate, even what color socks you wear at Burning Man, you know? Or the board had this meeting and uh, I liked this conversation or I didn't like this conversation. But putting out announcements, this gives us a very clear channel to put stuff out there. And my- But how is it different from putting the same information on discourse? Well, one, it's got the history behind it. Uh, it's got all these years of history that are already here. And the discourse is a communication for people to converse in groups or what I, I, I see them being very different. I see them being very different. I, I think in previous discussions, you know, Joel had thought like, Joel, you thought there was a way to bring the blog, historic blog over, or at least it, it could be available if somebody wants to look back. We can make well, it available. I, I'm not sure why the heels, I feel like heels are being dug into the ground on this one. And I don't know if this is great for moving forward on this subject um, right now, because I mean, we got this history and we have these really great channels here, but I'm feeling a lot of resistance. I, I, I just if we can do it simply would be my goal. And if one channel can accomplish two things, I think that's better than two channels. Hold on, I, I see Max is trying to get Yeah, I think I'm I'm not I'm trying to understand how how blog on our website is a different channel from the website itself rather than a different section. Um and that's that's feeling a little frustrating because it's not like it's actually adding 
adding a new channel. It's using a platform we already have and just it, it's a different section on a website and blogs are, you know, fair. I mean, I, I hope people know are a fairly common feature of websites. So I, I'm, I'm also kind of confused as to where it feels like there's some like tension between um, thinking about what a blog is and the amount of work it'll take in terms of managing it. Is that accurate? Well, I guess my back to the, my point initially was we need a place to post announcements online. A simple, something simple and something that, you know, can be constantly updated, um, but is searchable so that people, you know, and whether they happen chronologically. So that, that's, I feel like that's the goal we, communication and forum between members, I think in the immediate time, you know, and that's why I think trying to solve all of our problems into the future today is going to paralyze us. It's like, I feel like right now the website needs a place to post announcements and. Okay. Uh, and, and I think also because especially with the website being a word, WordPress is built for blogging. Like you, you can either build a, like create a new page or a new post, right? Like, so I think it's also like already utilizing a tool we already have for, for one of the main things it was built for. Um, well, let me, in the interest of, I, I don't, I'm not actually hearing a tremendous amount of um, disagreement here really on things and, um, I, what I would suggest is that we table the discourse forum and just not link to it until we want that to be a campaign to, to create it. Um, just because I don't, it, it doesn't need to be taking up a link on the top if, if there's nothing um, actively going on there. Um, and instead put a blog link up in the top everywhere that goes to the historical WordPress blog, which will be reactivated um, for news. So basically my proposal is we, we bring the blog back as a, as a blog, as a section on the website um, that we, we can keep the discourse ready uh, to use when we want it. Um, but essentially that feels like, you know, unless the idea is to go out in all the channels and say, hey, everybody come talk on discourse now. Um, I, I, don't, I don't think we should, I don't think we need the confusion of like one more pattern. Now, I think, um, you know, we've made a good point that if we treat the discourse as a blog where you, when we have announcements, we simply post them on there. Um, that will trick a bunch of people <laughs> into discovering that they can actually participate actively. And when we say something, they can reply. And if they have something to announce, they can also post it. Uh, and that may be a desirable thing, but um, it's not, um, I, I, you know, these things can be changed easily. You know, that's just, it's one link. It's always, it takes me 30 seconds after every one of these meetings, go change a header link. Can I, so, can I say that, I mean, are, are we talking about it's a this or this, or can we just move forward with both of them existing? Um, I, we can move forward with both of them existing. I don't think we should, I think we need, I don't like the idea of keeping the discourse around and not telling anyone to go there because it has no activity and it makes us look like a dead organization that nobody's. Well, I don't, I don't think we're talking about that right now, honestly. I think we, we need to do a press release that it's there mm. and we need to start, uh, a comp we need to be able to start the path towards a conversation to get people there. I think right now okay. we're just, as the communications team, I think what we're just discussing is what are we ready to put out to people, right? I don't think we're... Yeah, necessarily saying it has to be X, Y, and Z. I, I want us to have a healthy conversation about um, the best channels to move forward and how, you know what I mean? And I think these are great channels. I, I, I personally like the forum that was that's set up there. I'm not going to say discourse anymore. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, I like the forum. I like that it's there. Yeah. But we need to create a, a way of 
communicating people that it's there. And I, I mean, I can start working on press releases and then sharing them with you guys and seeing where we're at. And then uh, we can create a, a strategy. I, I know Nexus had some ideas about, uh, you know, creating a plan for social networking stuff. Um, I think we talked about that, right? Yeah, okay. And, um, you know, we just start developing a plan for how we're gonna get communication out. So we have, a, you know, our soft release goes into a full release at, at some point in the near future. Um, could I add something to that? Absolutely. Um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm the relative uh, new person, but I'd love to hear what, what conversations about like what, I mean, I think I know what our goals are in general concept wise, but in terms of like when we look at engagement too, if that is, that is something that we'll also be talking about in terms of like traffic, do we have goals for like how many discuss, you know what I mean? Like just what are some of the metrics related to the communications once we get to like, here's our plan, here's our strategy for the next three months. Here's how we're hoping people engage so that we're able to like, be like, did we achieve our goals and do we need to adjust? So just, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think that, um, um, Scott, when you think about, okay, we want to make a press release and tell people, oh, go here and do something. I don't know what, there's a forum. We don't know what <laughs> um, that, that, that may not be as motivating. So one thing I, I wanted to suggest actually, um, and uh, this would really be a project for Nexus, I think, and tell me if you think this is a good idea. Um, what if instead of saying there's a forum, we said the mission of Queer Burners is for Queer Burners to meet each other, get to know each other, network, be socially engaged together. And to kick that off, we've got this forum. Why don't you go there and tell us your story, who you are, where you're from, a little picture of you and your dog, and tell us about your Burning Man experience, what camp you're associated with, and just put it up there. And then that'll just be the introduce yourself topic will be the only thing we're focused on. And if we can get 50 burners to introduce themselves, then some of them will be like, oh, that's the person who did the water supply from, from, from Glamcox that I wanted to speak to because I want to copy their idea for how to get water on my camp. And then it just becomes a way for people to just at least start meeting each other um, and networking. So rather than thinking about goals like page views or our own administrative goals, we think about like, hey, ultimately our goal is for queer burners to network and get to know each other. Um, and, and in order that they be able to accomplish things together. Uh, and so let's just start with that. And like, what's the best forum now for people to go introduce themselves? And that's actually one of the things that Facebook is really, really weak on, because I can kind of go into the Queer Burners group, but I can't really see like who's active here. Some of these people just joined this 50 years ago and never went to Burning Man. Um, you know, let people uh, introduce. So that's, that's, that, 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 that's what I would randomly suggest is just a kind of a way to kick, kick off uh, the forum. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know, tomorrow, that could be, it might be the right time to do that is a little bit later when people are packing their bags um, or it could be today, but just something where the goal is the goal, not the goal is the, <laughs> the, the administration of the goal. Yeah. And I think one of the ways that we can measure that interactivity or at least a set of expectations is if Burning Man announces on May 1st that we're going to, we're doing it, you know, we're only doing 50,000 people, but we're doing it, you know, you can, you will see a peak, you know, of people interacting and all those bucket list queens that are out there <laughs> doing their searches on, you know, queers at Burning Man and, and finding our resources and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Because, I mean, you do anything with gays at Burning Man on Google, I end up with a whole bunch of links back to queer burners. So, and that's a beautiful thing. You're quiet, Wink. <laughs> I... <laughs> I, I, as an ideal, this online forum where queers are in dialogue, I, I am not seeing that in the immediate future. You know, I just, it doesn't happen today on Facebook. So I, I'm not sure 
I, I don't have any reason to believe that it would happen if we create our own version on our website. So I just, I, that's why I'm trying to separate what our goals are. And one is a place for announcements, mm. which is separate from a place to discuss things because I just think it'll fall flat as it has, unless there's something very specific that people like the burns happening, then people jump on board. All of us is happening. People will, but I don't see it being, if there's nothing going on, I think online communication will drop off. Yeah, so well, I think you're absolutely right. So. You are absolutely solid, 1000% correct. So wait a minute. So this is that we we have a solution now that meets all of our needs. Like I, I feel like it's four more minutes left in the conversation. Um, the blog is the place for announcements. That's there. It's live. The forum is there on standby. We won't try to send anybody there because nobody's going to go. But the minute there's an announcement, it could be our own event. It could be the 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 a regional event, or it could be you know, most likely that they start selling tickets and the interest, you know, ramps up from the next big announcement, then our version, you know, our PR that's waiting to go is, hey, did you hear they're selling tickets for Burning Man? Are you going? Are you queer? Do you want to know more about it? Come visit our website. Ooh. And the first thing you should do when you get there is go introduce yourself on the, um, on the, on the forum page which will just be set up for like, all we want to do is just get people saying, hi, I'm new here. I'm going, this is my first year. This is my last year. Kind of try to direct all that activity into write an introduction post. And then if people want to chat on there, that, that'll happen. You know, if at that peak of interest, we can't get anybody to go to our forum because they're just too old school. Then that also, I got no problem with that. We'll delete it and we'll shut it down and we'll, we'll work on something else. Um, hey. I wonder if there's a plan B too, because I love that. I wonder if like, say the burn isn't happening and they're still planning for some virtual thing. How can queer burners actually help queer burners connect with each other to do something virtually? Yeah, same. As those things happen, we announce it and we just say, hey, go to this forum post because we've got that. So if it's um, you know a bunch of VR events that are happening or a specific VR event or an accelerant type event, um, all of the, those things we can always sort of say, um, you know, what do you think about the 3D? Are you going to the illegal burn in the desert or whatever, the 4th of July? Uh, um, you know, go here and tell us what you're doing. So you can meet some other people that are also queer burners that are maybe doing the same thing. I love it. Thank you for summarizing that really well, Joel. That was really good. Does, are, are we all good with that? I mean, I really like that summary. I still see questions on Wink's uh, face. <laughs> Only because I'm, I feel contradiction internally. I said, we're not gonna future proof, you know, we're not. The blog is forward facing, but you can't comment on it. I think you can. Can I? Yeah. Okay. Leave a comment, but you have to be logged on and we don't really give people a way to do that yet. Mm, yeah, okay, I see that. Okay, so I, that, that's, that would be, rather than then going to a forum like I think the no, like in terms of user interaction like every time we like have someone pivot like oh you're here but we don't want you here we want you over there we're gonna lose people like mm -hmm. if I'm on something and I want to comment about it like I just should be able to do it so that that would be if we can comment in the blog then it's that we don't need because I think yeah. our, our current our, the interaction that we're likely to get is questions about things that are on the blog. Yeah. So to tell someone to go to another part of the website in order to ask your question about the thing that you just saw seems like we're, we're losing people. I, I, in, my, in the history of, the, like I went and looked through everything that was on the post, you don't get a tremendous number of, when you do get comments on blog posts, half the time it's spam or disruption okay. it has to be moderated. Um, unless you really like left something out where somebody's like, hey, you guys forgot to announce the address. Yeah. And, uh, and you do sort of want to get that, but, uh -huh. but that's the, um, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty, I think that's, that's less common. And what I'm thinking about more in terms of the introduce yourself is more like, hey, we're doing a thing. It's not a live event. What we're trying to do is get queer burners to introduce themselves. That's the thing we're doing. We're announcing everywhere. Queer burners, go introduce yourselves. URL here. Well, I mean, we could just roll forward and, and see how it plays out and we can 
pivot and learn and adjust. Mm -hmm. I mean, that sounds pretty fair, right? I mean, we're not future proofing. We're just riding the ride until we figure out what works and what doesn't. Mm -hmm. And I think we've all been really good about, hopefully we've all been really good about being honest with each other and, and um, you know, helping each other connect those dots too, you know? Yeah, oh, it seems that we're all in agreement. Um, I, I'm gonna go ahead and start closing down the meeting if that's okay. Um, I think we've accomplished quite a bit today and I really appreciate you guys really being forthright and helping uh, um, with this conversation. Um, we've had just a, based on some previous conversations together and apart, um, the social media stuff, uh, uh, Nexus is gonna take a stronger hand in uh, and develop a plan for um, you know, Twitter and Instagram and any other new channels or, what, or not new channels or whatever. Um, and he's gonna bring a plan to the table and we'll work it out. Uh, uh, YouTube, I, I know I have, I've, we've got YouTube out there, but it's just our meetings on it right now. So if you want, I don't know if that wants to be used in the future, just another conversation for another day. Um, let's see, did I leave anything out? Uh, so we're adding up the link for blog on the website, right? Yeah. Okay. And are we okay with the kind of posts that I made? as far as it's not a lot of words, it's just very basic. Yeah. I, I would still like to advocate for there being a calendar button rather than having to go to the blog to know that we have a calendar. Okay. As, do, you, like, do, you, do you think it's something that should be just like a floating window that shows up or should I think be a should, page in the website? I have page in like top, top level, like I wanna know what's happening this month I just go maybe, to the maybe a link in the about page. No, too too deep. Too deep. Yeah, I will. I will we can put I, it on the um, page. Yeah, I just want to go. I just want to know what's happening this month. I don't. It should just in my okay. mind, it's one click. Okay, that's. Does everybody think that sounds great? I, that sounds fine to me. Um, and Joel, you got that? Yeah, I'm just okay. super <laughs> easy. Awesome. All right, guys, thank you so much for your time. We'll see you in two weeks or if something pops up in between. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any concerns, questions, or um, want to just talk about anything. Um, Joel, I'll work on that 501c3 and I'll get back to you on that. I, I'll, okay, I'll, yeah, let me know as soon as you want. Okay. I'll just I'll cut and paste and make it look good. What's that? Um, on the new website. Uh, yeah, just let me know when, when, that, when you think that's ready to go. Okay, I will. All right, guys, thank you so much. All right, I'm going to stop the recording. Thank you. Bye, guys.